Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. Celebrity plastic surgery gone wrong? Why some of Hollywood's famous faces are addicted. We're talking all about it. We'll be right back. Time now is 8.21 if you're just waking up. This morning, we're talking about plastic surgery addiction. So Dr. Vincent Marin from Marin Aesthetics is here with more on this growing phenomenon. Doctor, good morning and good thanks morning. for being with us today. My pleasure to be here. I think uh, all of us and you at home, work, wherever you are, I think we all probably know somebody at some point that has had some form of plastic surgery. Right. This thing is just growing and growing and growing every year, right? Absolutely. This has been something that we've seen over the past 10 years, just, just massive growth. Uh, it's become more popular with uh, all ranges. So we've seen patients getting this earlier, later, all kinds of stuff. But it's something that's just, it's become a, a way in which people have gotten back into the job market, felt better about themselves, fixed things that have always been a problem. It's something that we see in, in almost all, both male, female, and uh, across all ages that we've seen it just getting uh, more and more popular. But we are seeing it more and more. Is there a reason behind it? I mean, is it becoming more acceptable? or? I think one of the things that really made it kind of come into the public eye is that first show extreme makeover when it came through and oh, that's and, right. and people started to see that the the old view of plastic surgery was that it was it was pretty people getting prettier or Hollywood celebrities that were going even you know too far but what they found in that show is that you could see that it was average people who had problems that actually looked a lot better after having a procedure or two and so it's something that they had problems they were insecure about they were able to fix and and kind of go on and have a much higher self-esteem. We're going to talk about people that um, I would say are addicted in some way or another. Maybe you've had one too many procedures. Right. But before we get to that, are there trends right now that you're seeing more and more of? I mean, are, uh, is the rhinoplasty in? Are the augmentations in? The uh, the recent change in the, the uh, silicone implants were brought back on the market mm -hmm. in 2006. And when that happened, we're starting to see a lot more breast augmentation surgery. So like that's redos or? Both redos and first time surgeries. Okay. Patients that had same are now moving to silicone and also we're seeing the patients for the first time moving as it's become something that the results seem to be nicer and people are moving that direction. The other thing we see is that patients are getting the things sooner. They're so we're seeing soon. smaller smaller things done and maybe sooner than what we'd seen in, in waiting for a facelift till you're you know in your mid-60s patients are getting it to their early 50s. Okay so um I think we can all probably at some point identify some celebrity that we've seen and been like maybe one too many times right. maybe one too many right. times um, and this is where the addiction comes in right uh, we'll talk about that in a moment but let's talk about a few of the celebrities mm -hmm. uh, Heidi uh, right. Montauk that's right. that's one we yeah. have a picture of her when I saw her doctor I said oh wow yeah yeah, she, uh, you look at it, it's a dramatic change in what she's, uh, she's underwent. Obviously, everyone knows about it. She had her recent episode with 10 procedures at, uh, at one time. It's common for us to do more than one surgery, and that unto itself doesn't mean Oh, it is? To do it to, all at one time? And people? not necessarily 10 per se, but, uh, you know, we're going to do one or two or three procedures. But what she's done is she's taken, you know, a young, attractive girl, and she's really taken it too far to the point where she does kind of look like more of a, of a Barbie-esque version of herself now, right. is it? It, it just it's not kind of a, a normal proportion that we'd see. Now you do not treat or you're no, not Heidi's no, doctor. I'm not Heidi's but, doctor. But when you do that many procedures at one time, is are you putting yourself at any type of risk when you're doing ten procedures like that? When you do these surgeries, you really have to gauge safety as our number one priority, no matter what we're doing. And so when that happens, there are some pros with doing more than one at one time, meaning it's one anesthetic. You right. get it done at mm -hmm. one time and there is a risk with anesthesia and so we minimize that. However, when we're taking procedures that are too long, we're also doing too, too much, much, where it's too much to recover from, you do see that there's a problem and there's a risk with that. Let's look at some other people that some might say have done too much. There's Donatella Versace. Yeah, uh, Donatella, uh, she she's uh, come on. Raul, we hear yeah, you. Come, come a long <laughs> way with that. I, I, it's uh, it's a, She's taking it too far, I think, and it's, you start to see patients, and, and what we're seeing is that when they've done too many procedures, they start to look odd. And you see that a lot of these patients start heading in that same direction where they're, they're all starting to look like the same person, right. uh, and it's kind of a scary person. Janice Dickinson is another uh, woman, and she says herself, she's a self-proclaimed addict. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, Janice, she, she's uh, also, I don't think there's anything she hasn't had done 
Uh, she's, I think, aware of, of what it's done for her career. I do think that, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of kept her in the public eye. And, and, uh, but patients are starting as she's kind of on her way. We'll see, I think, one other patient that she's kind of on that early stage. If she keeps going, she's going to continue to look more and more uh, unnatural. Are you referring to the cat woman? I am. Do we yeah. have the before and after yeah. picture of Jocelyn? So Wildestein? Yeah, oh, she's, wow. she's kind of the quintessential uh, uh, plastic surgery horror oh. uh, that we have. And, and uh, it's unfortunate that she's found people that would continue to operate on her. And uh, as you start to see, they have that kind of lioness, uh, catwoman type look where the oh, wow. eyes are tilted, the brows are too high. There's nothing natural about and that. And it's not just women. I mean, we all know Michael Jackson. Uh, when we look at these pictures, we've seen this, yeah. you know, over the years, this yeah. transformation. Even though I think it recently his mom came out and said he, that she felt that he was addicted. And you can see the changes. And, and the problems we have is that some of these things are irrecoverable. Uh, Michael Jackson, I think, went to a lot of doctors uh, and mm -hmm. tried to have that fixed, and there's, there's nothing you can do. And that's the scary part, and what we're trying to do with this whole topic, I guess, is try to prevent people from taking it too far. Okay. Dr. Marin, uh, thanks for being here. You're My not pleasure. going too far because no. you're coming back in the 9 o'clock hour. You're going to talk to us about the advancements in rhinoplasty, a.k.a. nose job. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll do nose it. Job. Yeah. Uh, for more information, by the way, you want to talk to Dr. Marin, foxeyesandiego.com will get you the information. Raul, I think you're perfect just the way you are, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both.